Far across the world, an elusive and adorable wildcat called the mantel roams the grasslands and steppes of Central Asia and Eurasia. Get to know the flat-faced, furry kitty, which has been featured in memes and viral videos. The mantel is a small wildcat known for its unusual and adorable look, a flattened and rounded face, stocky build, and super fluffiness make it appear stout and plush. The palace cat also goes by the name mantel. German naturalist Peter Pallas originally classified the cat in 1776. When Pallas first described the cat, he erroneously suggested it was the ancestor of the domestic Persian breed because of its long fur, stout build, and flattened face. All that fluff creates the illusion of size. Mantles appear to be bigger and heavier than they actually are due to their stocky bills and long, dense coats. In reality, they're about the size of domestic cats, they measure up to 65 centimeters in body length and weigh only around 5 kilograms. They have unusual pupils. Unlike other cats, the pupils of palace cats contract into small circles rather than vertical slits. Mantles are particular about their habitat. They live throughout Central Asia, from western Iran to western China. Within this range, palace cats prefer the cold and arid environments of rocky steppes and grasslands at elevations up to about 15,000 feet. Palace cats have the longest and densest fur of any cat. Their fur is nearly twice as long on their belly and tail as on their top and sides. Presumably, this helps keep the cats warm as they hunt on snow or frozen ground. The length and density of their fur also changes seasonally, growing longer and heavier in the winter. Palace cats go through two major color phases. In the winter, their coats are grayer and more uniform in color, while in the summer they have more stripes and ochre colors in their fur. They have black rings on their tails, scattered black spots on their foreheads, and dark stripes running from their eyes down their cheeks. The frosted, silvery appearance of their coats is due to the white tips on their hairs. Its fur blends with its habitat, which conceals it from predators. Mantles are ambush hunters. They stalk their prey using short vegetation and rocky terrain for cover, or sometimes wait at entrances to burrows and pounds when their inhabitants exit. Palace cats prey mainly upon pikas as well as other small rodents, birds, and the occasional insect. They're poor runners. The palace cat's compact body makes it a poor runner. When chased, it seeks refuge on boulders or in small crevasses. Palace cats make a variety of sounds. They yelp or growl when excited, making a sound similar to a small dog. Palace cats can also purr. Mantles are loners. They are solitary and territorial, with both males and females sent marking territories of about two to three miles. Palace cats spend their days in caves, crevices, and burrows made by other animals, emerging toward dusk to hunt. Despite being small, palace's cats are aggressive, in the manner of much larger cats. These kittens will growl even before they are able to open their eyes. They have an extremely short mating season. Female palace cats are in estrus for only 26 to 42 hours, a shorter period than most cats. Mating occurs in February and March and females give birth to a litter of two to six kittens in April and May. By four months old, the kittens begin hunting with their mother, and they reach adult size by six months. They're ready to breed at the age of 10 to 11 months. It's estimated that palaces cats can live up to six years in the wild, but because of predators and other dangers, their lifespan is likely to be half this length. In captivity, they've been known to survive for nearly 12 years. They're classified as near-threatened. Hunting is prohibited in all range countries except Mongolia, where the species has no legal protection despite being classified as near-threatened in the country. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already.